Hey, my name is Mike, and this is a too long didn't read guide for the fallen avatar on normal and heroic. If no one is in melee range of the boss when he's not casting any spells, he will do a raid wide AoE. Tanks get hit with Desolate, which deals a lot of damage and puts a stacking debuff on you that makes this deal more damage. Swap around two stacks. Throughout the fight, everyone gets unbound chaos, which continuously spawns green circles under you for a few seconds. For bigger groups, it's helpful if range stay in the back and melee spread out in front of the boss. When these come out, everyone run forward and then make a little U-turn after a couple swirly spawn. Three blades will spawn up by the boss, each fixating around and player. After a few seconds, they shoot out at that player, hitting them and anyone in the way. On Heroic, anyone that's hit will also spawn a purple pool underneath them. If you are not targeted, you need to pay attention and move out of these. And if you are targeted, take these as far back as you can or to a wall. The further away you are from the boss when Rupture Realities finishes casting, the less damage you take. On Heroic, three green circles spawn and deal damage split amongst everyone inside them after eight seconds. If no one soaks these, the entire raid takes damage. For this ability, try to stay spread out around the room. On the floor, there is five lanes. Throughout the fight, one of these lanes will light up and a green beam will shoot towards the boss increasing his energy. The tank who has the Maiden of Valor needs to move her to this beam so it hits her instead of the boss. While she stands in this, she gets a stacking 5% damage increase. The Maiden needs to be kept alive for as long as possible, so only attack her when she gets 100 energy and starts casting Cleansing Protocol. During this, she has a damage absorption shield on her that you need to break through and interrupt her cast. Failing to do so will kill everyone. Interrupting the cast will remove 25% of her health and stun her for 4 seconds. When the Fallen Avatar gets 100 energy, he will break the ground and everyone will fall onto a platform and he becomes mobile. If the Maiden is still alive when he gets to 100 energy, he will heal himself for whatever percentage of health she has left, so make sure she's either dead or close by this point. He continues to do Desolate on the tanks and Rupture Realities in this phase. With each Rupture Realities, he will break the portion of the platform that he stands on. For this reason, you want to always fight him on the edge of the platform, and this is also why you want to keep the Maiden alive for as long as possible, because you want him to have as little health as possible in this phase so you don't run out of platform. In this phase, he will also put Dark Mark on random people indicated by this circle. After 6 seconds, that person takes damage split amongst everyone in that circle and everyone in the circle gets knocked in the air. Two to three extra people is enough for each circle. The boss will do a raid wide AoE every two seconds. This damage is permanently increased the longer he stands in the surrounding lava. On heroic, make sure to also avoid the tornadoes. Use all of your offensive cooldowns on pull. Defensives can be used for rupture realities and the raid wide AoE in phase two and for Unbound Chaos if you can afford it and everyone's bad at it. That was a too long dinner read guide for the Fallen Avatar on Normal and Heroic. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.